Hello and welcome back to Foraging and Cooking with Kids. In our videos we will try to teach you and your kids how to forage wild food and how to cook it kids friendly that your kids enjoy the food also. Before I decide to collect anything out of the wild, I check every sign and check also with books and apps what kind is poison. Can I pick something accidentally? What looks similar? So be 100% sure that you grab the right kind and teach your kids the same. This week we go and look for wild grape leaves. There is a very good example for the false grapes, the moon seed berries. We all know the grapes out of the supermarket. The grapes with seeds has two to four little round seeds in. The moon seed berries has one crescent shaped seed in it, like a half moon but looks exactly like a grape. The moon seed berry vines will not grow to the large size that will grapes do. And they don't have tendrils. Tendrils are those little grabbers would have the purpose to hold on things that it can climb. Now let's go and look for grape leaves. Now let's dig into our recipe. We are cooking today filled grape leaves, a traditional meal from Turkey and Greece, Lebanon, Romania, Persia, Bulgaria, Vietnam, Iran and Romania. You eat those with plain yogurt or garlic yogurt. The filling variates to something without meat or with pine nuts. They have a slight citrus flavor and are raw to eat also. Here are one more time the identification points. You can see that the wild grape leaves have the same shape as the leaves bushes you buy in the store. The shape changes from the type of grape. It has the little grabbers and the cluster of berries and we found them in a big cups. The taste of the leaves are citrusy and I checked books and apps. Let's start our cooking. Here we have all our ingredients together and I let Finn work on our stuffing. Our stuffing has one pound of ground beef or lamb, one medium diced onion, three garlic cloves, one tablespoon tomato paste, one medium tomato peeled, seeded and finely chopped, half a cup of long grain rice and two tablespoons finely chopped dill, a quarter cup finely chopped fresh parsley and some salt and pepper.
We wash our leaves and poach them now. We left our water boil and add salt and some citrus and let them cook for three minutes. So we're taking our cast iron. I am a cast iron fan. You can use a pot as well. Whatever you choose. I love the cast iron. We are start putting all the green leaves around. And it's doing already an absolutely amazing job. Good job! Yep. There you go! Alright! That's a big leaf, maybe even a little more. I think that's... Okay, fold it. Fold it! <laughs> now do a little side from the bottom up. And roll it! Oh, yeah! Good job. This oh, is all! Oh, this fell apart again. <laughs> well, when you do stuff like this with kids, you need patience. You need to focus lot of patience. There that you go. Looks like a pillow. It does look like a pillow. <laughs> this is my pillow. Now the rest of the leaf we put on top. We mix two cups of stock with one tablespoon tomato paste and put it on top of it. Now we have three tablespoons of butter. Let me put the butter. Et voila! Now we bring the dish to boil. After it starts cooking, we close it and let it simmer on low for one hour and 15 minutes. All done and served! We eat it with garlic yogurt and the kids will eat it with just plain yogurt. The kids were first a little skeptic, but after trying it, they just digged into it. I used one cup of yogurt, three cloves of garlic and a good pinch of salt. This was our recipe this week, stuffed wild grape leaves. Next week we are on the hunt for wild chives. Maybe you wonder sometimes that the forest smells like onion? I will show you why. That was this week's video. Go outside and explore. Identify what you find. I promise you, when you start finding things, more and more will pop up. Enjoy nature and we hope we will see you next week to foraging and cooking with kids.